everyone and welcome to Join News Interactive here on the Join News channel on DSU channel 41 and go to channel 144 on YouTube and on Facebook. We are Join News on TV. Now today we're talking about beer. Apparently there's a shortage. Now there are concerns this may be na a nationwide problem. It first started in the Upper West region but we we'll bring you a report from that region and our correspondent Rafiq Salam is on the beat. Well, that's why the Upper West uh, region people, there. that's why they're drinking all the beer. But Rafiq Salam sent us a report of how people have been spending sleepless nights at uh, beer depots to lay a hand on beer, which apparently has been in shortage in the part of the country for about three weeks. For the past three weeks, club beer has been one precious alcoholic drink that has been hard to come by in the one municipality. Hoteliers, restaurant and bar operators hold from one depot to the other searching for it. These operators will usually get up early morning, coming around the various sales point or depots, hoping to at least spot a truck loaded with a precious commodity. Once it is spotted, they swarm there like bees and plead on the salesman to sell for them. In some cases, they have their wishes answered and others have to go through frustration. This extra truck belonging to Bazaarware Enterprise was spotted during the wee hours of Monday in front of the depot located on the Contrabandia Street opposite the White House. Dina Delay owns view Bar and she's been here since 5 a.m. This morning, yeah, five something. I was here, I'm not getting the drink. Why are you not getting it? The queue is too much. We are not getting some. I'm frustrated about it. I even want to lock. I'm testing. For some to have access to the commodity, they have to use middlemen to fight for them. Dr. Munasung Amos is a medical practitioner and also owns a drinking bar. Assuming you are doing a business, that's where you can get your daily bread from. Then you come with 15 crates and they'll give you only two crates. Where will you get it from? That's currently what is happening. If you are not a VIP, you can't get it. Currently, you have to get it through VIP. The shortage of club beer has pushed the price from one bottle, which used to cost five Ghana cities, to seven Ghana cities. It's not only bar owners in the one municipality who are feeling the pinch of the shortage of club beer. In front of me are these three personalities who came all the way from Babylon in the Laura municipality. Okay, you'll be here since 5 30 a.m. Yeah. Uh, when you came, who did you meet? I met some men with us, uh, 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 sellers. They did not, they said we should wait, they will give us a drink. They did not give us. Those men, they have taken their drink, they have gone, leaving, leaving the uh, travel of us sitting here. So you'll be here for the past seven, eight hours? Yes. So how frustrated are you? No. This morning, I didn't take, even take water. I didn't take anything, so I'm even tired. I don't know how to see, do again. How hard has it hit you? It, um, it has hit us because we, the, we can't get drink to sell again. Nobody can, cannot get drink to drink. So we are pleading if they can help us to get drink to sell. If not, they, they will always come to the bar and ask for a drink. There is no drink, nothing. So that, that, that way they, it has affected us a lot. In some cases, they are saying that the salesmen have resorted to what they call conditional sales. One of the bar owners will explain to me what he meant. All right, so that's Rafiq uh, Salam bringing us that report. Now let's go to the phone lines because we have Moses Sanya, who is the president of the Ghana Drunkers Association, joining us to tell us the situation across the country. Moses, good morning. Good morning. First of all, Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Return. All right, so now what have you heard from your members? What's happening in the Upper West region? Yes, you know, yesterday we were doing a lot of collations over there. We were collecting some of the drinks around and then realized that there has been such a in beer product over there. Yeah. Because of the high consumption rate there. And it has affected businesses over there. And it's not even Upper West region. It's, uh, it has affected Greater Accra as well. Oh, wow. Where even the factory is located. 
And we find it quite amazing because uh, in a year we've been consuming about 1.2 million gallons. Okay. So I don't know why the consumption rate has increased to 1.4 to 1.6 million gallons. I believe it's because of the election. Mm -hmm. Because right after the election, the, the, the consumption rate increased a lot. Because um, uh, those who lost the election and their supporters were that they will have to drink to control themselves. And those who, who they call it one would have to uh, drink to make merry. Mm. And right after that, to Christmas is also at the corner. And then New Year as well. So it's a combination of a drinking season. You see? Yeah. So, so this has brought about all these uh, shortages because people will have to drink, even including new members who have never drank before, they will have to join us and then to drink this year. So oh. This has brought about the shortages of beer with us in the country. All uh, right, Moses. We are managing the situation. Uh -huh. oh, how are you managing the situation? Uh, we are still trying to talk to other wholesalers who are close to the region. Uh, for example, people around um, Bologna and Ethan Varos to quickly send their trucks, the wholesalers from that side to send their trucks to at least supply uh, some fuel spots in, in the upper west region. So is there a reason why it's um, greater Accra and upper west? Is it because you got new members? Why is it just these two regions? Yes, you know the consumption rate in 2020 went high among these two regions and both are regions. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. Unlike the usual, when every year we, we do uh, our statistics, when we are our statistics, we get Buta uh, region, Greater Africa, and then uh, Ashanti region. Mm. But this time around, it has affected uh, Upper West region, and then Upper East as well, more because Upper East, you know, normally they deal with the pitches. So uh, for them, we the beer, and other stuff like this that has not affected them. And uh, you see, Pito is yeah. also a remedy for them, you know. Mm. Uh, what that is, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, an option. Yeah. When they don't seem to get a beer to drink, they drink a lot of Pito. Uh, know, and then, happened. is there a reason, another thing I want to ask, is there a reason why it's just beer instead of maybe wine? Or akpeteshi, or, or or something. Is it just? Is there a reason why it's just beer? You see, the, you see the, there are certain beverages when you send them to certain regions, it mm -hmm. will never sell. Okay. You take wine to the northern region, it hardly sells. Mm. You understand? Yeah. And then, uh, you take wine to the western region or the central region, some it sells, but not at that much. When you take wine to the great uh, central region, it sells a lot. And data Accra, yeah, good. Okay, but but, but over, overall, as the Ghana Drunkards Association, how have you guys been celebrating the Christmas? That's why I'm saying that uh, me and my uh, regional testing officers mm -hmm. and the council of elders, mm -hmm. we are still trying to collate some of the drinks from other regions. You know, there are some uh, drinks that are built from other regions. So okay. This is what we've been doing so far. Yeah. You understand? So we want, after a Christmas, then we'll be able to know the number of drinks or the number of uh, people that consume a lot of mm. alcohol uh, during the Christmas. Yeah. All right. Th th thank you very much, um, Moses Onya. And he's the president of the Ghana Drunkers Association. He'll be, he's been giving us updates uh, about the shortage of beer in the upper west region and also in the greater Accra. so according to them they are looking at uh, surrounding regions uh, to you know bring the beer in and apparently it's also because of it was elections people were celebrating and then now it's christmas and then the new year is coming and that's why that's there's been a shortage of beer but remember in all your beer drinking drink responsibly and remember don't drink and drive arrive alive.
Now, so we're told that it's a national problem and we've been asking you on social media, what's the situation where you are? Tell us, do you guys have beer? Is there a shortage? Let's go to Seru Kambo who says, hey, heaven, there's no beer. That is why we've been drinking all the beer for when we go right to heaven, all our friends will be drinking all the beer. Governor K. Benson says, it all started after the election results were declared. Those who won made merry whilst those who lost drunk in sorrow. For club beer, they no longer have the big bottle available. So who will have to buy two of the mini ones for starters? And yet, easy cry. Empress Mo Ahasin says, Upper East is worse. I see a lot of bar operators walking up and down in search of limited beer. Felix Donko says, when two guinea fowls are fighting, the turkey is not concerned. Okay. Dede says, last week, three tipper truck loaded with beer involved in an accident in Tema Motorway. So that is uh, the cause. And Ahasin Yusuf says, yeah, there, uh-huh. Okay, thank you very much for that comment, Ahasin. Let's go to Patience, who says, is beer the new name for the COVID vaccine? Uh, no, it is not. And Pepper Isaac says, ha, 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 ha. Jesus doesn't suffer for this Christmas. Shortage of beer. Pa. And Sean says, heaven, there's no beer. That's why we're drinking all the beer. And Davi Romer says, Chale, the thing makes serious all. Oh, we are barely surviving drinking all of this water, claiming to be beer. We have Bro Ahamfo says, club has scattered from six cities to nine cities in my neighborhood in Ashanti, all because of shortage of maize, planting for food and jobs. Now, my mind, Ibrahim says, uh, of all of these bothering the country you chose to talk about beer, well, different strokes for different folks. Uh, Ken uh, says, I beg, join you. Sobolo is my favorite drink, whether shortage or not. I don't care. Please, beer kills and don't drink and drive. And Nana Kovane says, why you lucky? Pam, Sawoka say, Anna, and if you're a fan uh, of beer, like you go see. And the last one I'm going to take is from Joseph, who says, okay, I'm taking one from Mensvik, who says, in short supply, oh, and those who have it in stock, increase the prices. I thought we all agreed that, like, there's no money. Like, we don't have money. Why is there a shortage of beer? But I want to find out the beer situation in your area. Join me via Zoom. We have the details down there. And I just want to know, what's the situation? What's the beer situation in your area? On that note, I'm going to take a quick breather. I'll be back with more. In heaven, there is no beer. Ajay, that's why we're drinking all the beer here. Ah, ah. So, guys, I thought, like, we, you know, there was a understanding. We said we don't have money. So why is there a shortage of beer? Like, I mean, Tassi, like, I don't understand. I'm asking you to join us via Zoom, but here are a few rules, okay? Please wear a shirt, okay? That's the first thing. Stand or sit by a wallet place. Join with your audio and I'll mention your name and you and I can have an interaction call. All right, so let's see who we have uh, via Zoom, joining us via Zoom. Anybody? We have anybody? Somebody? Okay. All right. I see some people joining us via Zoom. Okay. Hi, guys. If you can hear me, give me a wave. Wave. Anybody? That's right. Okay. So I see you uh yes in the and the, in the so please join via audio join with the audio so that we can hear you uh when you talk okay right so i see you you are unmuted i see one wave there i see another wave there all right so let's start let's start with the gentleman in the white vest Okay, we have Nanaba. Okay, so what I need you to do is to switch off your television set because we're going to get a feedback, okay? So you switch off the television set. You can watch yourself, but don't... I believe that what is actually the causative agent to the shortage of beer in the country now is most of us, most of the youth have now turned to be drunk. Uh -huh. And basically, when... 
Demand is less. Demand is high, but production is very less, yeah. uh, which has also been a resultant factor to uh, the shortage of beer in the country as we speak now. Yeah. Because a lot of people are talking of financial constraints, but still uh, there is a shortage of beer. Uh, it's either the companies are not producing much, mm -hmm. or my, majority, my, majority of Ghanaians have not turned to drunkards. Uh, that is basically my point of view on this. So I, I, are you part of the Ghana Drunkards Association? Uh, no, not really, not really. <laughs> oh, 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 what is not really? You're either part or you're not. Oh, I'm not part. I'm oh. not part. Okay. All right, let's go to Nyamiche. Nyamiche, Michelle, can you hear me? I need you to unmute yourself, Michelle Nyamiche. Oh, okay, we just lost your, your visual there. Uh, but we have a gentleman in the white vest. Uh, please unmute yourself and tell us the beer situation where you are. Okay, Maxwell, please unmute yourself. Tell me the beer situation in your area. Maxwell, can you hear me? Unmute yourself. Tell me the beer situation in your area. Adam Maxwell, we just lost his, his, his video. Let's go to the gentleman in the white vest in the green room. Okay, Nana. Nana. Nana, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, how's the beer situation in your area, though? Do you guys have beer? And which area are you in? Oh, I actually reside at Accra. Accra, okay. Oh, I, I actually reside at Accra. Okay. Accra. All right. Yeah. Coffee Mensa. Mm -hmm. Coffee uh, Mensa. If you go to the drinking spots currently, you see most of the people are uh, actually enjoying the beer. Because I think in the country here, uh, there are not majority of yes, please. things out. Okay, Nana, we'll come back to you. Just give us a second. Let's go to Kojo. Coffee Mensa. <laughs> Coffee Mensa, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, so tell us the beer situation in your area. Oh, I'm actually in Takwa. Uh huh. Yes, please, I can hear you loud and clear. And I want to know the beer situation in Takwa. In my area, area there was no shortage here. We have it in abundance. Yeah, the mini is going for four cities, the large one is going for five cities. Okay, so you guys have it in abundance. Yeah, we have it in abundance. Okay, so but are you part of the the, the, the drunkards association? Because we just spoke to your president. If you are. Okay. Coffee mentor. Okay, it seems like we lost his uh, audio. Do we have anybody else who has joined? Saka. Good morning. Saka. Tell us the beer situation in your area. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Guys, so I need a favor from you. All right. So listen, for us to have a fantastic conversation, I need you to turn down the volume from your TV set. Because when you join via Zoom, it gives a feedback and then everybody's confused and we can't hear each other. Okay. So just turn. Um, let's go to Martin. We have Martin. Mark Hagen. All right, let's go to Mark Hagen. Mark Hagen, good morning. Tell us the beer situation in your area. Mark Hagen. Okay, so Mark Hagen. Okay, Saka and, and, and friend. Saka, can you hear us? Unmute yourself. Okay, so Mark Hagen. Okay. Saka and friend. Saka, can you hear us? Saka and friend, tell us the situation. That's right. Tell us, unmute yourself. Tell us the beer situation. We have literally 30 seconds. I want to talk to one more person. 30 seconds. Saka and friend. All right, guys.
Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, via Zoom. Uh, once again, we'll give you the rules and regulations of joining via Zoom uh, later on. But that's how we draw the line uh, on Joe News Interactive with me, my PCC. But you know how to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're Joe News on TV.